Hey guys, so what's up and I'm back with another video of me and today I'm gonna install um, Windows Phone 8 ROM on the Galaxy Ace uh, I, I currently have the Galaxy S2 ROM on this phone and it's good I like it but uh, uh, I have a request on my comments that uh, Windows Phone 8 ROM so for Windows 8 ROM and yeah I'm gonna install it right now I searched a lot and I found it so so why not install it yeah as you can see my phone just died I don't know why so guys this is the uh, forum XGA forum of this ROM as you can see Windows Phone 8 the uh, I'm currently gonna set it to download it's 90 megabytes it's pretty lightweight ROM or oh, what the hell it's a pretty lightweight ROM and uh, I think I will like it and I will keep it for some days you know so download yeah uh, so let's check out the XDA thread uh, wait. A so, uh, this is the this is based on CM seven point two, uh, which is uh, a ROM itself, and uh, it has super user three point one point three. Wait, let me sign on my phone. Has super user 3.1.3. <coughs> it has Windows Phone 8 UI. It has Fire Kernel overclocked. It has Adrenaline, other Adrenaline Engine, um, and Google Play 3.9.1.6, which is not the latest version. It has Beats Audio plus Alsa plus Audio FX widget. It has Windows Phone Launcher, it has Windows Phone Boot Animation, it has Windows Phone Theme, it has 3 volume steps, Quick Pick, Dolphin Browser, I don't know why they use Dolphin Browser, but it is for uh, Wii 1 which is Windows Phone 7 UI, and for the change log to Windows Phone Update to 8, Windows Phone Launcher 8, Windows Phone 8 launcher, Windows Phone 8 lock screen, Windows Phone 8 music player, win add a task manager, other improvements, and uh, fixed a few bugs. To install, you need to have uh, the Clockwork Mod Recovery 5 or later, which I have a video on, and you can go ahead and check it out. I will let the links in the description down below, so you can go ahead and. Uh, uh, check them out if you don't have the clockwork mod also my video is about how to install clockwork mod touch all the versions of clockwork mod clockwork mod 4 clockwork mod 5 and clockwork mod 5 touch so you can go ahead and check it out uh, wipe data wipe cache wipe download cache this is a basic thing that everybody do but the the thing is you should mount the data I will show it to you in a few seconds what does it mean flash ROM and reboot and thanks to a lot of guys you know so this is so I will give them a thanks uh, and the ROM is downloaded so super user fix the, I think we should download this one too so download it so now Uh, 
uh, let me go ahead and connect my USB cable to my phone to my Galaxy Ace I'm not asking you to charge, bro. Cutting to the USB. <coughs> oh shit. I don't know why it can't connect. What the hell? Let me go ahead and check with another USB port. So let me go ahead and pause so because I'm ha having some problems with the connection. Uh, so I did go ahead and plug it with a USB with a memory card mount because I couldn't get into the uh, folder. I think there's a bug. I don't know. So this, this is my ROM folder. I'm gonna go ahead and open my downloads folder and uh, wait a second should I just pause it <coughs> so <coughs> here you go I copied them out so it's been copying to my phone yeah I have a class 2 SD card in my Galaxy Ace don't worry I have a class 10 on my Galaxy 3 but Galaxy Ace it sucks and this is the super user fix don't forget to copy this too and this is my all my ROMs uh, I think I have a review of, of them if you want I can make another ones if you see you couldn't find my reviews on them just let me eject um, and uh, plug it to my phone and boot off my phone oh I don't need to boot up let me just go ahead and connect to my and show everything to you on the phone base so this is the thing which is the most important step I just as you could say I just copied down everything to my memory card and as I got the memory card stick here so now you should go to the memory you should go to where the recovery mode so this is you know how to go to recovery mode press down home button and the power button and release the home power button and keep the home button 
now you could saw that green thing it means that you are you know able to you are going to go to recovery and you can release the you know thing as you can see or here it says that you should mount the data wait a second as you can see this is my clockwork my recovery 5 I told you now this is touch so I can touch it go to wipe data factory reset delete all user data now everything has been deleted wipe cache wipe go to advanced menu menu oh shit wipe double cache go back go to mounts and storage mount data As as you can see this is the basic uh, thing which you have to do before you know installing the ROM now you should, can go here as you can see and select the directory of your files I've put it in my ROM folder you have to go to the Windows Phone 8 V2 install Windows Phone 8 Sorry for the video shake. I really appreciate that. As you can see, the thing is just got finished. As you can see, install from SD card completed. So now you have to go to choose zip from SD card. Come down, 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 down. As you can see, I got the new folder named Launcher Windows Phone 8. I think I didn't have it before and you have to install the super user fix and reboot <coughs> yeah the, the, the boot logo was crazy was amazing. I really liked it. What the hell? As you can see, I'm currently rendering the previous part which I made with Camtasia. It's going a little slow, I don't know why. Let's check out my task manager. As you can see, it's going on. It's going a little good, but I don't know why it's going only of 30% load of CPU. It could go till, I think, sorry. Oh, as you can see, this is the boot animation of the ROM. So, I was saying, uh, it, it was about, used to be about, I think, 70% of the load. And let's show you something. This is my real temp GT. Oh, the temperature is a little bit high. But the laptop is not hot. Well, and the fans are working pretty good.
you know, I had problems. With, I had some problems with the fan, so I went to, uh, and I mean, changed the fan. So now it's going pretty good, actually. Oh, as you can see, this is the ROM. Touch the Android. Sign in. No, I'm not gonna sign in. Skip. Next. Wow. This is good. I'm not. Why is it E? But what the hell? Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. Now you can see. Let's go to my settings. More mobile data off because I don't have a data plan on my Galaxy Ace, so it will fuck off my you know thing. And ready? Let me sign in. So I'm connected to my Wi-Fi right now, and it, this is a pretty good ROM. I, I'm really gonna keep it. And this is smooth. This is fast, and it has good animations. Let me go ahead and fix the focus. As you can see, it is good. There are some problems, I think the layout of the keys but this is not a huge problem the ROM is it you know settings yeah you can go ahead and overclock it but I, I will do these things in my review of the ROM now you're just gonna you just have to see the installation and you saw so Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I was helpful, and so this is basically it, uh, it's been too, a little bit too long, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed, have an awesome day and I will see you all in my next video, bye bye.